Hey everybody, it's Biddy here. Welcome to another AI Fuzz video. And today we're exploring just released yesterday is Ideogram version three. If you have a note, if you haven't tried Ideogram, you should. It is, in our opinion, the best text model you can find. We use it for our thumbnails, and improving on it was something that uh, you know they thought they needed to do. Now, where it improves on is their realism, and that was sort of lacking prior in version two, but we're gonna run it, I'm gonna run it through the tests real quick to see how it performs. First prompt, I'm gonna go, well, I'm gonna post a link to this, it's ideogram.ai, but I'm gonna t test it with a thumbnail prompt for this video. We're gonna create a thumbnail for this video and see how it handles, and I think it will handle it um, so, I have the prompt in here, we're going to generate, it's going to give us four options, and the one I pick will be the one for the thumbnail of the video. Okay, here's the first one. Looks pretty good. Might want to change the font. There's the second one. Totally missed the text entirely. Third one as like an anime style and there is the words and the last one is really looking nice it got the text right which ideogram has no problem with I am going to actually choose the first one for the video because I like got the best I like the text oriented down here and if you don't like it you can just reprompt it and ask it to put the text up top or on the side wherever you want an ideogram will follow that. But now we're going to test it on some prompts that push hyperrealism. I asked Claude to give me a few. We're going to see how well it does. This one is um, a pair of well worn leather boots showing creases, scuffs, uneven wear. And again, this prompt just pushes a lot of detail. So we're going to see how ideogram handles it. Because it's uh, that's where this model will improve. All right, the first one. Wow, looks pretty good. There's details in there. There's scuffs. Let's see. This one looks good. Yeah, this one looks really good. That is nice. Um, and last one. Yeah, they all it hit it out of the park with this one. So we're gonna go back and. Um, if you want to make sure, if you go and hit the prompt, make sure you're doing 3.0 default. That is the uh, new model. Most of them will be on 2. So I'm going to make sure you change that. Okay, we're going to do another one. All right, we're going to do a human. This one's a close-up portrait. Let's see how it does with humans. Okay, we're going to create that. I think I need to Graham have some, uh, it's not a free service, but it does have some competitive plans. And we think it's well worth it just for its text capabilities alone. It's worth it. Because, like I said, it is the best out there for text. All right, so here we are with the human generation. And wow. That's all I can say. Is this one? Okay, that is really good. Look at the dirt under the fingernails. Wow, this is pre <laughs> this is really good. I, I are we gonna try, are we gonna try this one? Hey, so our cat, our dog Bullseye is trying to hump our cat Pepper. I mean, uh, Raven. Sorry. All right, we're going to try this one. This one's about morning dew drops. We're going to see how it handles details and the light, different light, or fractioned and shadow and hypothesis. <laughs> All right, let's see. Oh, wow, look at this. You can see the dew drops. This is a tough prompt for this. Look at that, Handle, handles the depth of field correctly. The dew drops, wow, I really don't need to go on, but.
This is really amazing. Alright, so not to make this media video drawn out, because you guys can try it for yourself, I'm going to do this last prompt. To macro shot up the human eye. This is where a lot of these models stumble, just to get the detail. Okay, here we go. Okay, that looks really good. That looks really good. Now... Wow. What did you think? <laughs> Our Ideogram 3, you're in the race. You are... As we get more and more of these models being released, it, it's, it's hard to uh, really pick a favorite now. They're all pretty much neck and neck in, you know, with Flux and Ideogram version 3 and uh, Reeve was just released. And I think someone picked that up and doing a video on that. But Flux, Ideogram 3, uh, you know, all these models are really, really doing well. And it's basically just pick whatever you want at this point and you'll have great output. So make sure you like and subscribe. I just wanted to show you this if you weren't sure about the how well it does, and it does really well. A++ from us, AI Fuzz, and like and subscribe. Hopefully we'll get to 25K soon. We're close, and we'll see you next time. This is B on our next uh, AI Fuzz video. See you later.